Here we have a territory solution of eight block group based territories with a fairly equal landscape of population. And that is what the chart is showing. This was all done very quickly without yet using the map. And now we'll get into some improvements in manual editing at the latest release. Here in the Chesapeake Bay area, we want to clean up some odd shaped territories and understand the before and after impact of potential changes. To do so, new functionality is added to the assign pane. Here I can select any number of territory elements and dynamically view their attributes in a table, allowing me to sort and highlight individual block groups and their values. Search and filtering is added to quickly find territories by name. This is helpful, especially working with hundreds or even thousands of territories. The most exciting new feature is the ability to predict how statistics will change when reassigning elements. So that's what's happening here. I select territory 4 in orange and the assign pane tells me what will happen to its total value if assigned to territory 5 in light green. I am also able to see the potential differences. This shows there will be 957 people from this one block group added to territory 5 and 957 will be lost from Territory 4. I can select several geographies, and the values are aggregated together, and then reassign them. I can also select several geographies and multiple territories at the same time. This showing me approximately 11,000 people will be added to Territory 5, whereas 6,600, 2,800, and 1,400 will be lost from others. And to further support these what-if scenarios, we've added a new copy tool. This will copy any territory solution so you can explore new scenarios, but not overwrite your primary solution. Here, a new version of my solution is created. I can then modify it based on any scenario I want, such as new sales data, and then compare it to last year's solution to see what changed. So those are some exciting new features of territory design. 